going on my friends? It's Coach Bob with SweetLifeFitness.net. What an awesome day to be alive. I hope you're having an amazing week and today's review is specifically on helping you find the best exercise mat. Guys, if you're working out on a hardwood floor, concrete floor, or a ceramic tile floor, wait a second. You gotta make sure that you have the right kind of padding on your feet so you're not banging up your joints. So let's talk about some tips and tricks for your exercise mats in today's video. So if you've been watching my videos on YouTube, which you better be watching my videos on YouTube, I've been using a longer and a wider mat for my workouts and oh my gosh, it is so much better. Now me personally, as you may know, I work out in my garage, so I'm on a concrete floor. Uh, in the past I've worked out on carpet, but I've also worked out on ceramic tile. So any type of hardwood floor, you need to have the right kind of mat to ensure that you have a phenomenal workout. In the past, I used to use the Beachbody Jump Mat. Now this was kind of a long roller type of mat that was okay, but it was very thin. I think it was only a quarter inch thick. And the problem with that was when you jump, when you're rolling around, and most importantly, because it was so uh, skinny from a width perspective, when I was doing push-ups, when I was doing um, banana rolls with P90X and things like that, it just wasn't doing the job. So the first thing you need to focus on and think about is the thickness of your mat. Usually depending on what you wanna do, you wanna get the right type of thickness to ensure that you're getting the right type of protection. So a yoga mat, if you focus on a yoga mat, that's gonna have the least amount of thickness. Now, if you're only gonna do yoga, perfectly fine. Go for a yoga mat. But if you wanna do something that's kind of all-inclusive, you need to get an exercise mat. Because that way you can use it for yoga, you can use it for Pilates, but you can also use it for your high-intensity interval training, your weightlifting, and everything in between. Literally will transform your home into a workout room. So let's talk about length. How long does the mat need to be? Well, what I would recommend is to look for a mat based on your overall height. Now, of course, me, I'm freakishly tall, it's six foot seven, so I'm gonna need a mat that is a little bit larger than most. But generally speaking, 62 to 72 inches is usually where you wanna aim for the right type of length of a mat. Next, let's talk about width. How wide does this mat need to be? Now, the best thing to do is take a measuring tape. Seamstress measuring tape is the best way to go. So, kind of something that looks like this. Measure the widest point of your stomach as it is today. Then add about a foot or two onto that. That'll be kind of the best, so that way you can roll around, you can kind of do some different push-up moves and, and still have the protection of the exercise mat. So I have had the opportunity to try out the Gorilla Mat. Now that's what I recommend, because like I told you earlier, I did the beach body jump mat, works okay, but it was some nuances with it that I needed to improve upon. So over the last month and a half, I've been using the Gorilla Mat. And this thing is phenomenal and I highly recommend it. And here's why I do. This is a very durable mat and it has the right amount of thickness. So that way you can do a multitude of jumping. You can do jumping jacks, you can do burpees, you can do push-ups, and it maintains the comfort throughout. I also found that it was a little bit more premium and durable from the standpoint of when I beat this thing up and I've done some very hard workouts on it, I've dropped my weights on it, I've done everything in between, and it still looks brand new without even touching it up. Another challenge I had in the past was my mats would kind of slide around. If I'm doing like intensive, like for example, if I'm doing Insanity Max 30 and I'm back and forth and back and forth very quick, very quick motions, speed and agility type of things, there's, the mat would move and it would be extremely frustrating. Well, below the mat they have the, these dots, for the lack of a better term, that are uh, integrated within the mat. So what that does is it provides a little bit more of a slip resistance grip on the bottom surface of the mat so that way it's not shifting all over especially as you start sweating as you start moving around a lot more the mat maintains its awesomeness and staying where it needs to stay throughout the course of your workout so another thing you need to consider is if you are going to not have your mat out all the time so for example if you use it in a living room or something like that we need to roll it up and put it away make sure your mat does come with some type of organization system and you can roll it up strap it up and store it in a closet or wherever you see best fit. For me personally, what I use is the six foot by four foot gorilla mat. It's been a life, it's actually been a game changer, guys. I'm not gonna lie about that. The reason that I, I think it is is because I've been putting this thing to the test and my past frustrations with the mat slipping, the sweat all over the old mat, just the, the, the overall width of the old mat, this thing has won the game. And of course, you'll get the microfiber cloth and I think that's what's cool about the, this cloth is if you do sweat a lot, this thing will wipe it up, keep your mat and yourself looking like a champ. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. In fact, I'll tell you what, 
If I get over 50 likes on this video, I will give away a gorilla mat. Huh? Like today, share with your friends so they'll like too, and maybe you'll win yourself a gorilla mat. Thanks again for watching, guys. Have an awesome, awesome day.